Hello and welcome everyone, Jack Boone here. Today, I'm on the Minecraft Nation of Vagabonds realm. And we're taking a look at the new world that we're working on here. And right off the bat, you can notice quite a few things are different. There's a scoreboard on screen that keeps track of players' zombie kills. And we use that as a type of currency among many other currencies here on the server. If I push tab here, you can see that I have a score of 18,485 and increasing. That is the money total on the server. We use that to purchase everything in the many shops that we've created here around a spawn town, spawn village. Not sure what that is. The other thing you can notice is I'm here in creative mode. I have command blocks on my inventory and uh, some other cool tricks and toys. I have this cool little stick. I'll show you guys what this does. Uh, since you're up here, it's basically my auto kill. It does um, an insane amount of uh, damage. So I use that to just kill anything I don't want. So first, I was here because this is where people will hopefully spawn in. There are quite a few homes around here, and I'm not going to try to show them off in this video. Uh, you can see this beautiful one here in the distance. That is actually Jen, or my and I's home. And uh, it's near completion. I think my wants to put a few more things on it. But it's, it's, uh, I can't wait to show that off. I want my here to give me a tour of that one. So, first thing you do when you log into the server is you click here to add yourself to the currency scoreboard. That'll uh, track your, your money statistics. The zombie token, your name won't come up on the scoreboard until you actually kill a zombie. Um, in the beginning, I had a few shops that were a little bugged. I've worked the bugs out since then. But here, you can actually click to remove your debt and reset the money to zero. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to need money to show you guys the shops, but um, this isn't really necessary anymore, but I use it quite often to just reset my score because I'm on here a lot. and I'm, I'm basically adminning on the server. Everybody else is in survival mode, um, and we may set that to adventure mode later, but everybody's on survival mode except for Mai and I who are adminning. Mai is creating some things. We are working on some projects together, including... Um, a PvP arena and many other things. But one of the first things you want to do when you get on here is you push this button. Excuse me. Can you please move. Welcome, free, free. Welcome to the Nation of Vagabonds tour guide. This is a little book I wrote up. I'm gonna grab a copy here. Uh, let's go ahead and read it. It's nine pages long. Welcome to the Nation of Vagabonds Minecraft realm. The Vagabonds and I have put together a wonderful spawn area for y'all to explore and benefit from. There are teleporters, shops, ATMs, and more. Be sure to read all the signs carefully before pushing any button, random buttons. We are also working on a PvP arena with unique rewards coming soon. In the meantime, kick back, relax, and enjoy making some easy money. That's right, this realm has a currency in which you can purchase items from various stores. It's easy. You make money for every second you are logged into the very... Um, server. I think that was supposed to be server. I don't know why that says it already. Along with that, you can deposit ores and resources in exchange for currency at many conveniently placed ATMs. You can press the tab key at any time to see your score. It's the yellow number next to your name. I showed you guys that at the beginning. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Uh, can I get away from you guys? Because you're really annoying. Let's just uh, go up here. Thank you. This score is what the realm recognizes as money. Most shops take money in exchange for goods, but some shops require you to slay zombies in order to gain Z tokens. That's what's over here. In exchange for many unique goods. These Z tokens are used in the same manner as money, but are li limited. Uh, where's spell check on this game? To which shops accept them. Some shops only accept Z tokens, so start slaying. Alongside these two currencies, we will hopefully be adding in PvP ranks, which you can then exchange in somewhat the same manner of a, um, a prestige in like Call of Duty, and then gain access to special unique 
and rewarding areas for the depletion of your rank. There is also an area next to the PvP teleporter located next to the well that you are able to cash in experience for money. This is done in 10, 20, and 30 level increments. They are worth 3,000, 7,500, and 12,500 money. It's a lot of money. With all this to do and much more planned, where do you get started? Well, check out the market district. Oh, it's just outside the interior wall. Here for shops galore, selling everything you could ask for and more. Be sure to stop over at the food court to grab all your essential nutritions. When you are ready to start building, you can stop by Big Boy's Building Blocks for all your basic building needs. <laughs> Don't forget to say hi to Barb while you are there. That is it for now, but planned in the future is includes quests, PvP arenas, secret locations, events, and more. Yeah, you have to ask yourself, where do I start my adventure? Good luck, my friends, Jack Boone. And that's right, quests. That's something we're going to be working on in the future in this on the server. So essentially, let's get you guys started over here. You spawn there, you wander around, you explore everything. I have uh, a few ATMs in place. Let's show you this one. So this takes gold nuggets in exchange for a little bit of money. I have that much money right now, 18550 I throw in one gold nugget into the hopper. And I've got 50 more. Plus, plus one, because there is a clock uh, buried under spawn here that's giving players one money every random amount of seconds. So there are ATMs that accept gold nuggets. Gold bars, I think is this one. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is the gold bars. I'll show you guys this. Gold bar. Oh. Gives me 450. Yep. Awesome. Everything's working. This, you can buy diamonds. I'll show you guys how the shops work. I'll show you guys how all this works. All of the ATMs and the shops are uh, the design of a YouTuber by the name of Xylent Assassin. With a X and not an S. We'll leave a link in the description for his channel. And the videos that I, I got the ideas from. I had to alter... This is gold blocks here. I had to alter the code on a couple of the uh, my uh, the command blocks. That gives me 4,500 money or 50 money. I had to alter the code on one of the blocks just so it would work properly. It didn't work on this realm. Um, it was targeting random people, but uh, I got that fixed, and things are working now. So let's go ahead. We're gonna. Um, I'm going to show you guys, I think the ATM first, because this one's a little bit more difficult. What we need is, no, not a trap chest, I want a regular chest. Chest. Um, that goes, goes right here. Yeah. Pretty sure it's there. Um, and then I need a couple hoppers. Uh, and this will be the deposit one for the player. This is um, part of the mechanism, and then this is just for storage. Now, what we're going to do is wrap a comparator that comes off of this hopper here, the second one. Hmm. Don't think I made this big enough, huh? I got to come back a bit more. Uh, jeez. I guess I got my uh my hot bar set up because these are well I don't need the torch chest hopper. So this is a comparator. It sends a signal when certain things are activated. It's a tricky mechanism, not one I fully understand, so I can't uh, really explain it to you guys very well. But we need it for this. We also need that block there. Um, I'll just grab this yellow wool. Yellow wool is just so I know what I need to dig out. I planned this out ahead of time. Let's hope I don't mess this up. So, we need a redstone line that comes across over to here with a torch. So, 
um, when the deposit's made, it'll go into this hopper. This hopper will send a signal out through all this stuff back to here, which will actually turn this torch off. And then the redstone wire is locking that hopper in place. Um, you'll see why in a minute. Now what we need is a command block here. And what it's going to do, and it's a little hard to explain here. I'm not even sure what this ATM is going to accept. So we'll just, uh, we'll leave it like this for now. And it's going to add a money total here for whatever is deposited. Uh, this is the command to alter people's score, the main score there, money. That's why it's labeled money in the, uh, in the equation, essentially. So we are going to, um, hmm, what's something I don't have an ATM for yet. I think I was going to do it for iron. So let's grab a piece of iron. Ooh, I don't want to throw that away. And actually, I need um, a full stack of iron. So we need to put... Oh, that sent off a signal there. I don't know why. So that, we need 18 in that first slot, and then a, one in each one after that. I don't know why this is. Um, just go with my video. And that uh, should light that up. Now you see how it's active for one tick. I do believe whenever iron's deposited here. Hmm. I had this problem um, before. And... Oh, that's why. Need that. I think I need that. So just put that in there now. Yep. Awesome. 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 See how there's still 18, one in each one, and there should be one piece of iron here, and I was credited nothing because we haven't set that part up. Now I do have a iron shop over here on the other side of spawn. I'll give you guys a little tour at the end of the video. Uh, the steel bar. I let Jen name these places. 200 money for one iron ingot. There's nothing wrong with the name of the place. It's just... Um, we poke fun of it. So we come back over here, and we're going to... award the player 200 money every iron ingot they put in. That's essentially what the system does now. Every time um, one iron ingot goes in here, it sends a signal out, credits person 200 money. The way this is set up, it'll only uh, let iron hop or er, iron hoppers, iron ingots go through, preventing that from happening, or for for people being credited for resources that are not part of this ATM. So that's the ATM. Um, I'm going to decorate it after, build it into this wall. There's a wall all the way around Swan, which I think looks really awesome. So that's that. I usually put a sign up. I cover this thing up, make it look pretty. Uh, I might do that. I, yeah, I think I'll do that because we still want to decorate spawn a little bit. I just want to show you guys how to set up one of the shops. Now, shops require a bit more command blocks. Um, I need to dig this all this out. This is what I call my shop pit. This is where I do all the wiring for. Now, uh, when you place a command block, you can see there's an arrow pointing different ways. Um, I'm not sure how particular it is, but I think it has to do with connecting various command blocks, which I do here in a minute. This is um, going to be the shop button. Um, I'm selling books here, so let's get a bookcase. Makes sense, right? We'll put the bookcase here, and we'll grab a button. And place a button there. So you can see, it sends a signal, right? Now, same thing as before, we need the comparator. So when that uh, command block gets activated, it sends a signal to this one. And because these ones are attached to this, 
And I'm not sure about the arrows. I don't know if it matters if it goes this way or, you know, although I guess the arrow pointed up that way. I just like to do it like this because it's worked before for me. I'm not going to change it if it works. So we're going to be selling um, books here. I need to get the code for the book. I guess it's just book. So the code to give people stuff. We're going to be given the nearest person to the command block, which is usually the purchaser. We're going to give that person one book. And we're going to charge them. We're born. Players. Remove. FP. Money. And uh, I think books should be pretty cheap. Let's go. What the hell? Let's be really generous here. Make it 15. Something that we're probably going to be using on the server a lot is a good way to pass messages and set things up, requests, and everything like that. So, should be easy and convenient. This block here is just going to be telling the purchaser, you know, they made the purchase. Thank you. This is how much was taken. Fifteen. Of course, I got to throw my tagline in there. When this comparator goes out and triggers this, which is going to remove the money, um, it's going to trigger out these. Now, to get this to work the way we need it, we're going to use the test for command. So this is going to test for anybody, everybody, as you can see the targeters here, target all players, with a ra radius within a radius of three. And... A score, a money score, equivalent to at least 15. So I have at least 15. Let's uh, let's get rid of this, so you guys can see. It didn't work. Ah, uh, why well, didn't work? Oh, I don't think I was close enough. There we go. I need to put a block there to step on. Um, let's get rid of the button. And we'll just put... What is this? Put some dark oak right there. So this prevents people from, you know, purchasing from too far away or other people being charged for somebody's purchase. You essentially have to be standing right next to the button. Now. You saw that it's locked up. The comparators locked in the output signal. We need to reset that. And this is where a little bit of redstone wiring comes into play. Uh, I think I'm actually going to have the redstone come off this side. So what we need is the signal from the button, original button push, to come out this way. hit this redstone torch which will um, shut it off now you see here it's gonna burn itself out and then when that um, I guess I have to reset that we want that to send the signal out here to basically reset that but in order to do that we need to put a block here to prevent these two pieces of redstone from connecting so there you go now this should allow us to purchase multiple books over and over so long as we have the money and you know we have quite a bit of money here and that's it that's my shop pretty simple you just decorate it after and it's not too much work I think I'm gonna have to wrap this video up here uh, I'll decorate these shops another time probably do them off camera and include them in the tour later on but it's pretty cool stuff so far we're going to add a lot more things, including uh, the PvP ranks. So, essentially, you're going to get a player kill score for every person you kill. It's going to be in the PvP arena and in general, which we'll get to in a minute. So, that'll increase, and then they can trade in. Uh, they'll be rewarded a rank after 
um, 100 kills, 200 kills, 300 kills. And then with that rank, they can access like a treasury room, get really cool stuff, or maybe some of the legendary weapon or whatever. Legendary weapon is just basically uh, any item or anything that's been uh, altered, much like this stick is. Modestic. Uh, that didn't sound right. See, I can just kill whatever I want with one touch. I think this even kills like the Ender Dragon, or Wither, anything. It's pretty powerful. Along with that, the PvP ranks will have quests that are going to be giving out cool rewards. So lots and lots of cool things to come on this server. I will be joining everybody in uh, survival or adventure mode. We're not sure what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to try to look into making like land claim blocks. If they're going to allow people to go into... What the hell is that golem doing? Dude, that's not safe. You're made of iron. You're going to fall. Anyways, uh, I'm thinking about making like land claim blocks that are going to allow people to go into um, creative mode in and around their home. You can see the lag on the server is getting a little bad. The moon keeps skipping there. But not... Uh, it's going to allow them going to go into creative as in flying, but not give them access to creative... Uh, menu so they still have to purchase their own resources and we got some really cool shops over here this is uh, uh what did we call it again big big boy building blocks it's got all kinds of building blocks everything you can imagine um and and fairly cheap too because i want to encourage people to build on the server so lots of really cool stuff it's two floors i think there's uh 12 uh, 16 19 shops in this one building some really cool stuff. Whatever. I think the doors have been put in so that the villagers can come and go. We also have nighttime uh, lamps on. I shouldn't be showing this. We need to decorate still. Lots to do. I still have some room to put in a few more shops, or I'm going to add in a few items that people have been requesting. Just simple, easy stuff. But I think that's going to be it. Decorate these two areas up off camera. Show you guys that in the tour. Oh, the, the land claim blocks. It's going to allow people to do, go into creative, but I'm thinking about putting everything on um, adventure mode. So nobody will be able to break any blocks um, unless they have like the land claim block in that area. So it'll be interesting. Uh, it'll make gathering resources a little bit harder because nobody will actually be able to harvest anything. Um, but then I'll have to make um, rewards, quests, that, those kind of bonuses a little more uh, abundant. If I can get uh, the hang of these command blocks and, and the coding in this game, I'm hoping to get custom NPCs, which you'll be able to interact with and uh, get quests, so quest givers, essentially. But uh, even if that's not quite possible yet, you can have books, buttons, all kinds of cool stuff that will activate unique events. Maybe summon a horde of zombies or... Um, Ender Dragon battle somewhere, teleport everybody to uh, somewhere in the void that they have to fight the Ender Dragon. Some pretty cool, pretty cool um, stuff in the works here. And I don't really want to show much off, but uh, I'll, I'll definitely be sure to do that in another video. If you guys want to see that, be sure to leave a like on this one. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Share this video with your friends. It helped me out a lot. It was all the lights, and it's daytime. So, I've been Jack Boone. This is the Nation of Vagabonds Minecraft Realm. I really need a new skin. Gotta get this pumpkin off my head. Been there since freaking Halloween. It's starting to rot. And until next time, as always, have a good one. Before you're able to get it mobile. I swore sh I saw shooting. Eh. I swore. Shorshish.